Y'all, I'm back. Baby, I'm back. Okay, so I'm not going to be before you long. You know, that's what the preacher's saying. Then they proceed to be before you another 45 minutes and you be hungry, ready to go. Listen, so first video earlier today, we talked about Tamar accusing JR of being out at the Four Seasons and using her credit card. JR then came back and I and had a response. I put the link to that full response in the description box in the second video that says we go update. He's saying they've been single for six months. They was just friends, blase, 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 basically hinted at her mental health, not being good, explained. Um, and I had got it wrong. I said that they must have had a connected card, but he said he went to booking.com and they had booked something there before. And I guess the card number was still in there. And they just happened, they both just happened to have the same last three digits or something like that of the card number. He went on to say uh, that it wasn't true about the other woman. She basically better be careful because it could be considered defamation. Tay Arden, Tay Martin came down to her YouTube channel and she responded. So I figured, why don't, if y'all haven't seen it, let's watch the response together. It's about 16 minutes, but I figure, um, yeah, we can uh, watch the response together. Let's go. All right. Here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. We about to find out the scenario. Hey, everybody. I know I said that I will not be speaking out um, anymore, but people be waiting for you to speak out so they can figure out what the hell they're going to say and how they're going to look because everybody knows that that's what that person cares about. And I just want to be very clear on nobody stopped the relationship with me. I stopped the relationship with them. I blocked that person. I blocked that person on social media. Um, and I only called that person to find out about my credit card being used. Now, everybody knows that let's not play stupid. Okay. I I'm going to pause. She said she blocked him on social media. Was that after she tagged him in the post? I guess after she called him, maybe, maybe that was after. Okay. I don't go to bookings.com. I don't even really kind of know, you know, what that is or what's, what's that about, right? I use my physical card. If I do um, reservations, it's through, I have a touring company, so we have our own travel agency. And so I, I'll go through that or I'll go through um, my American Express, right? Where I physically use my car. So we're not going to pretend that, oh yeah. And yeah, so I'm not going to pretend like, oh yeah. Um, they got our credit cards mixed up because I thought you were single six months ago. We went, so which one, which one we doing? You know what I'm saying? I mean, just here's the thing for me about guys. Guys, when, when, when things come out about men, they always say, oh, the woman is delusional. Oh, we wasn't together. Oh, I wasn't leading nobody on. And oh, they did the things on their own. Now, come on. How many times have we heard that story? And so I don't even know why we're trying to perpetuate that storyline today. Listen, I'm for, I'm in my forties and I, come on. I've had my fair share of relationships and you know, my dealings with men and you know, when we having like male friends, I hear a lot of stuff. I've been around the world and I, 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 okay. So I've heard it all. So we're not going to sit here and pretend that anybody is not going to drop a bag on a man or go to a, a city like Turks and Caicos. If there was not, if you didn't feel that there was a chance of reconciliation and let's just be clear. I didn't ask myself. I didn't ask myself to no birthday parties. This person told me right over here at the St. Regis, I want you to be a part of my birthday. Now, if you seeing this, this, that, and the other, why you want me to come? Now, y'all got to realize, now, the man didn't say the status of our relationship. At that time, we were very much married. Very much married. So, I am thinking that you know, I am pouring to my marriage that is troubled that, you know, I want because I love my kids. You know, I love, I love my family. I love you. You know that you, you just said you love me. So now all of a sudden now we not. Okay. So I'm pretending and I'm delusional and I made all of this stuff up. Okay. Now I don't have to buy no man. I know who I am. I know the kind of money I make. I know the status of my life. I don't have to buy no man. But if I'm pouring into my relationship, pouring into someone that I want to rekindle something with because this is not my boyfriend, 
I'm wrong for that? Oh, and I'm on my own for that. And not you saying, oh, when your birthday come around, I'm a wop, 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 woop, woop. Like, I had absolutely no idea to feel like I was in this by myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, people have seen us out. People seen us at your favorite restaurant. Yes, you have been, we have been, quote, unquote, living apart. And, and I guess you want to say single where we can, you know, date other people and see what's out there. But you clearly told me you wasn't with nobody. You clearly told me that you you are emotionally unavailable and you just hitting whop, whop, and won't, won't. Okay, so she said she was married to him. Wow. We did talk about that um, earlier, and I think in the first or second video. She said, oh, you're saying that you're single? You're saying that's what it is? But now she did just say they had that conversation about they were very much living separate, and they were going to see what's, out there, even though he wasn't emotionally available. So it's giving y'all were separated and had a conversation about dating others, which would, would that mean that they were single or all right. And my whole thing, and let's not make it like, Oh, I got men. I'm sorry, we keep being cut off, but this is important. And we're not going to make it like, Oh, now Tamar got mental health issues. Now, y'all done seen this man. We're not going to pretend that this man ain't been, has not been airing me out and embarrassing me for the past six months. Now, if there was not an understanding between he and I, y'all see me sit up here and take a bunch of L's and apologize and really try to work toward my marriage and try to, you know, fix shit. And, you know, because the truth is, y'all so much, I don't even really know. <laughs> you know, but just like he said, I'm not going to divulge everything, but I'm not going to let nobody sit up here and make it seem like I am delusional and deranged. And you clearly said you don't want me. Y'all know when I found out I was getting a divorce and my divorce is going to be final on that trip to Turks and Caicos. <laughs> Didn't say that. <laughs> That's when I found out at the bar, I got an email. So let's not do that. Friend, don't do that. Friend, don't do that, you know? And here is the thing. I didn't, yeah. like I said before, I did not mean to post that lady. It could have been, like, it was a casualty of war. It could have been anybody. Because, like, he told me he was, he busting down, wop, wop, wop. He ain't even in nothing. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't say he cheated on me. I said you played in my face. Because the truth of the matter is that you were supposed to be here for me, to show up for me on Sunday. And you didn't do that. And just like I told him, like, well, this got to be a two-way street, boo. Like, we, we can't, I can't show up for you. And you don't show up for me. That can't happen. And so you decided to extend your trip. And didn't say anything to me. In, in New Orleans. And then I find out you, you. I didn't even say nothing to you. Well, we know that part is true. Because in his video, he said he decided to extend his trip. And Tamar called him and asked him. And he basically, you know, about the card. And he was like, I decided to extend my stay. So no, he didn't tell her before and if he was supposed to be here for her that Sunday but then decides to extend his trip and not tell her and then did she just say that she posted that lady and it she was just a casualty of war could have been anybody girl okay you know I didn't even make it a big deal I didn't even, you know like this person is making it seem like I am off the rails and I get why y'all is very believable and people every time I fall out with somebody they always take that story and I, oh y'all see how she acting her reality show well not the past three reality shows Tamar has grown up and that's why I'm not going to let nobody speak on my mental health and make that an underlined issue and make it like I'm defaming somebody's character because the truth of the matter is y'all was following each other on all platforms and, and also, you know, responding on each other's pages and the hotel told me, how did I know? This was not just a hotel mix up because no, I got charged and the problem was that I asked you, uh, I called you very calm, very... Now, let me know if hotel policies have changed or not. They will ask you 
oh, you want, would you like to use the card on file? Or is there another card? Yeah. Y'all, I'm not trying to make this a big deal. I swear, it's it's not about, y'all, it's a thousand dollars. It's not, it's not, you know, make or break. It's the point. The point is, is that you wanted me to sit back and let you not only use my card, let's just say it's a mix up. Okay, fine. But now it's different because you're using my card for your extracurricular activities. And let me just keep it gangsta. I wouldn't even trip on that. You know what I'm saying? Wah, wah. It's not that serious. Me and your relationship status has changed the way I see you have changed. You know what I'm saying? Just like you outside, baby, I'm outside too. Like, let's stop pretending like you is the last of the Mohicans. You are not. You know what I'm saying? It's just not like, oh, I'm addicted to the white meat. Like, it was fine for what I had, but okay. It ain't giving that. And, I, and, and the truth is, I, I put too much on it because we, are, we were married. And I take my vows serious. And I thought that you did too. And so the truth is I was waiting for you to come around like a wife because all I know how to be is a wife. I was married to Vince and that didn't work out. And I, I got with D and we were getting married and I got with you and we got married. And, 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 and I married you after you ate somebody, you know, whole booty, boo, whole booty sandwich. Yeah. So let's not talk about what and what happened before then. OK, <laughs> don't make it seem like I'm a bad person. Don't make it seem like I didn't put up with a lot. Don't make it seem like, oh, I've been so gracious to her. And, you know, I have been giving grace and she's a da da ba da ba da ta da wop wop. No, baby, don't do that. We have given grace to each other. And I hate that I posted that last night for that 10 seconds that I posted and now that it's a frenzy today. But the simple fact of the matter is that I tried to call you and I tried to talk to you and you were so nasty to me. And at the end of the conversation, you're gonna tell me to go take my meds. Mm. Something that nobody else in the world knew and something that you tried to weaponize against me. Mm. Mm -hmm. Are you saying that people who take mental medication or anxiety medication, they are not stable? I would hate for you to say that as a lawyer. Don't do that. The fact of the matter is, I only came back to say this. Um, I'm not delusional. I am not crazy. I don't have to throw myself on a man. And yes, we have been estranged for six months and we everything was just final on Friday. So let's and I'm going to say this in closing because I don't want to say too much. I've, I've probably already said too much, but my feelings are are hurt because everybody is making it seem like I am crashing out over this person and I'm not. Um, I went ham simply because of your disrespect. And the truth is I should have gone ham a long time ago. And I did it because, um, and I'm sure that people have been here before when you're in love with a person who aren't in love with you back. And that was my case, but I didn't realize it until Turks and Caicos. I had no idea until Turks and Caicos. I knew that we had problems. I knew that, you know, things wasn't working, but I always thought that we loved each other because we always said that we did. And um, I always felt like, you know, with love you can, that is a ground zero for you to rebuild. And so now, that you feel like I have aired you out. <laughs> like you have aired me out for months and embarrassed me for months. You know, oh, now we ain't going to be friends. Well, that option is not even open to you because I'm the one who blocked you a few days ago. I'm the one who cut off social media and social media and all communication with you. So let's stop perpetuating that. Yes, you are the one who filed for divorce because you were the lawyer. We, you and I as a couple decided that. We don't make it seem like, oh, I got to leave, da, 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 because we're not even going to go there. So stop doing that. And I told, my, I told my daughter that I would not talk about her dad, but in the same interim, I hope she had the same conversation with you that you cannot talk about me and make it look like I'm deranged and crazy. Now, I know you love Logan. I know you know, beyond a shadow of a doubt, what your children means to me. And most of the reason why I was trying to hold together our union. But what I'm not going to do, Jay, is feel like I got used, because I did. Of course, I do a lot for a lot of people. 
you know, and you know, I do a lot for a lot of people financially, gift wise, whatever. I, that's just my nature. I didn't think that I was, oh, dropping a whole bag on you. And now we're going to get back together. No, I didn't think that. But did I feel a certain kind of way when you was nasty with me and you used my car for for entertaining some? And I said, tramp, because you the one who said that's not your woman. You're the one who said that you you can't, you hitting them off. You, you hit the jump offs and they, ain't, they don't mean nothing to you. And, you know, it's, it's just sex. You told me that. So if the defamation, that is you giving me the information. Hello? And, and y'all was following it and talking to each other way more than three days ago, JR. Don't do that. Let's stop making it like I'm trying to be crazy because I don't want this for us. Now, as a certain amount of time, maybe a year, 19 years, 30 years, we could talk. But, you know. Yeah, it's a no for me, dog. And it has to be a no for me because I have to start loving me. And clearly, you know, all the work that I'm doing, you know, I'm definitely skipping over loving me because I felt like I loved you. And I, I loved what we could have been and what we were more than myself and i am so sorry you know to everybody out there that i you know put out this post last night i was praying to god that it didn't go viral i was praying to god that it didn't you know that nobody caught it i was you know praying to god because i knew that you know it wasn't necessarily what i wanted to do it was an emotional thing but I mean sometimes when you have been disrespected to the level that I have been disrespected from this situation publicly it'd be too much you know and um I, I apologize to everybody that was hurt behind it especially to my kids that I love so much um and um I'm never gonna keep you away from your son I'm never gonna and I hope that you don't keep me away from my kids but you know I just feel like the way that you try to twist this story is unforgivable and sad because you know I came to you calmly and nice after not speaking to you and asked you what happened with the card and this could have been all avoided but you're nasty and uh, every woman that's gotten online has said the same thing like you're nasty and you're not nice and I didn't do anything to you and I wasn't trying to be in your business and you know me and you don't even have that relationship um but I said you played in my face and I meant that and you have been playing in my face for a while now and mm -hmm. I'm sorry that I snapped online um and I'm sorry this is where we are but we can wrap this up because I have nothing else to say um and I'm going actually about to go and film something you know for a while and so I won't even be here so everybody go and enjoy which y'all enjoy, and I'm taking everybody out the chat. And once again, I apologize, you know, to everybody. It was an emotional 10, 15, 30 second post. And um, this is what happens, you know, when families fall apart. And this is what happens when people are hurt. And this is what happens when, you know, um, people are, you know, fall out of love. And, um, I, but I'm in the same token, I'm not going to let anybody weaponize me about my mental health journey, something that I'm really proud of and that I worked really, really, really hard on. Like we have to really normalize not doing that to people and taking a jab at them when that's all you have left, because, you know, this could have all been avoided. Um, I snapped when you said, take your meds, like. Oh, <laughs> and anybody with, you know, mental health issues that really take their mental health seriously know that that is a, whoo, that's a lot. Yeah. It's like an alcoholic and you say, go take a drink. Eek. But anyway, uh, I promise this is it because it's gone way too long that I wanted it. So I just wish everybody well. God bless y'all. Good night. Um, I'm going to continue working on me. And I know y'all probably really tired of me right now. And I'm tired of myself. <laughs> I'm tired of this always being a thing. And, um, yeah, it's just got to be another way than coming to social media. And you guys are absolutely right. So, um, and the people that have been patient with me and riding along with me, I appreciate y'all. And I'm sorry I keep letting y'all down, but I'm human. And, um, after my sister's death, the last thing I wanted to go through was a, a divorce. And, um, that's it. All right, well. I'm sure I will find y'all soon and love will find me soon. And But for right now, I'm going to be focusing on work and my baby. And I love y'all. Have a good day. Bye. All right, y'all. So y'all just heard what Tamar had to say. Um,
you know, there's a part of me. Oh, Lord. Hey, Cam. Y'all see how that just came up real quick? Oh, y'all heard how that came up real quick? Hey, Cam. <laughs> um, but so we've heard what uh, she had to say. There is a part of me that definitely believes her. And look, because she was made it confusing, like, you know, no woman is going to drop a bag on a man and not think that there's going to be reconciliation. But then she said towards the end of the video, no woman is going to drop a bag on a man hoping they'll get back together. So maybe she meant, meant like she didn't do it thinking she was buying his love. She did it because she loved him. And they were in a space where they were trying to see where it would go and that there was a possibility of them getting back together. Right. That's what I'm thinking. But, um, she seems like she is truly hurt. Shade was definitely married. She said they was married and the divorce is final. Y'all let me know what y'all think. That was a lot. I just, Tamar says she's taking us out of the chat um, and that she's going to continue to work on herself. I truly, truly hope that she does because this is not good for her, not good for him. I do wonder you know, with her calling his kids her kids and Logan, his son. Remember when one of his baby's mom mamas came down uh, to the internet and was basically like, Tamar caused havoc and yada, yada, yada. And it wasn't like what Tamar tried to make it seem. So I don't know. So maybe um, she does really have a relationship with his kids and he has a relationship with Logan. So that's why you have got, you got to be more careful. So hopefully um, this will truly be a continuation, if you will, of Tamar evolving um, and putting herself first in a healthy way. Um, I can see JR being a little bit sarcastic and being me like, take your man. I can see that. I could definitely see that. Um, and I told y'all in one of the other videos that I do think he's a gaslighter, but Clearly, both of them together, very toxic, very not demure, very not mindful, very full of toxicity. So, um, Tamar, prayers to you. Um, stay far, far, far away from this man, which seems like it would be hard to do if she's still going to be involved with his children because they're not adults. So, cha, I don't know. I just, I'm, I really honestly just wish Tamar the best. And I don't want her to be in a good space mentally physically spiritually all that stuff so y'all we saw her response let's talk about it in the comments love y'all and i will talk to y'all later see ya and good night